Hey, what's up guys? One Wicked Super here. I'm going to be doing a new style update video today. As you guys know, I've recently been doing update videos where I kind of just hold the camera and I do like a vlog and I feel like that's uneventful and it's kind of lazy. And I want to really incorporate uh, cutting clips together and editing into my update videos and make them a little bit more eventful and a little bit more exciting for you guys. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, at One Wicked Supra, make sure to check that out. I post a little bit more frequently than on here. Obviously, I post some pictures and some videos of the build. Here's the Supra right here. Obviously, since my last update video is inside, we brought it outside fairly recently. <laughs> yeah, so here it is as it sits. Uh, nothing's really changed with the car itself because I've been primarily focusing on the engine and the transmission. And I really plan on finishing the interior and exterior once the engine and transmission are uh, are completed. Show you guys the interior. I don't think I've really showed the car itself in a while. Um, I haven't really done much, like I said, to the uh, interior. So here is the engine, and I'm sure you guys noticed in the trailer, real quick, I showed the precision turbo um, on the engine, and I'm sure you guys caught that. Now, the, my last update video, this was all just, there was nothing here. I ripped off my stock twin turbos, and um, I actually ripped off a couple more things, like the oil lines and stuff, and I put on a Powerhouse Racing uh, Street Torque Turbo Kit. It's not completely done yet, but this is pretty much the, the manifold, Precision 6266 Turbo with the uh, high pressure feed and drain kit. Um, and the kit also includes a Precision uh, wastegate, which I will I may do a video on depending if I have to adjust the spring rates on it. I think it's at 15 PSI. There it is right there though. It's nice. Precision makes good stuff. Um, also, they included intercooler piping. Uh, I have to source my own blow-off valve, and they have a uh, air filter um, with the uh, intake piping. But yeah, f as far as the uh, this side of the engine, that's pretty much what I've done. I cleaned it up a bit. I got it nice and clean, and yeah, turbo kit's going fairly nicely. Now on this side, there's no intake manifold. I stripped that all down. Uh, manifold's down here, and the reason why I did that is because I. Uh, I need to go drive by wire for the AM Infinity, and basically I could have used my old throttle body. It is a drive by wire, however they're known to be kind of unreliable, and I mean it's it's 20 years old, so you know I don't really want to risk it, especially with a lot of the sensors on there and the vacuum lines. And I actually don't need a lot of the vacuum lines that are on the stock intake manifold because I took away the twin turbos. So I'm just in an effort to clean up my engine bay a little bit, and for simplicity's sake, I'm going to order an aftermarket intake manifold. Now, which manifold I order, I'm not really sure yet. Um, I've heard good and bad things about the eBay manifolds, and also there's, I mean, there's wicked expensive manifolds too. So I may end up landing somewhere in between um, and getting a fairly nice manifold um, and throwing in my uh, injector dynamics 1050cc injectors that I also picked up. So... It should look really nice. Uh, once it's in the car, it should look nice too. Pretty excited about that. That should be happening soon. So there's definitely going to be a lot of videos coming. Also, very quickly, I wanted to uh, show the Lexus because between me and my friends, we have three IS300s, which obviously have two JZs and share some parts with the Supra. So I'm going to be doing more videos on that too. And I think I just released a video on the new bumper that we painted ourselves. And um, Yeah, so go check that out. I'll put the link in the description. But anyways, here's the transmission. It's a Tremec T56 Magnum. That's what I decided to go with. Uh, in my last video, I still had the R154, and I sold that and used some of the money to get this. I bought the whole kit. Um, T56 Magnum kit comes with the uh, bell housing, clutch, the flywheel, which is right there, drive shaft from the drive shaft shop, and also a few other things like uh, master cylinder and the shifter and the uh, transmission mount and stuff like that. So that should go in fairly nicely. Uh, pretty excited about that. Also with the engine, I got Supra motor mounts because the Aristo motor mounts are different. And I also, I'm going to put in a new set of spark plugs and I stripped the wiring harness off, which is why it looks so clean. I'm getting a uh, custom wiring harness from Tweak Performance to work with my AM Infinity 6. I'm also going to get new sensors uh, for the Inf AM Infinity, maybe a flex fuel sensor and a couple other things. So I'll be doing update videos on that too. And since I'm using fairly new stuff, like the AM Infinity 6 and this the 6-speed kit, and also the, um, the I'm going to be using the LS9 throttle body, drive-by-wire throttle body on my aftermarket intake manifold. Those are all fairly new products to the supermarket, so 
it's not a lot of videos on them. I'm going to be doing videos on all of those. So definitely subscribe now if you're a super owner and you're curious about going a different path that you know not a lot of people have gone. Um, I'm going to be making videos on all the products. So definitely um, be checking my channel out. And uh, yeah, I did a, uh, the other weekend, I, my, I had my friends film me put the oil pan on, uh, the rear sump oil pan. So I'm going to cut to those clips right now. Let me know what you guys think. They were street racing with like Honda Civics, so they didn't even break the speed. Limit. And like, oh man, I wish it were like wasn't. Oh, I'm sure you guys it was so fucking funny. But like this, it was just like they, they both floored it, and they were just like. All right, where my razor blade? Yeah. All right, update the viewers. All right, so uh, let me just bring you over here. So, got our old oil pan right here. This is a uh, front sump oil pan. Obviously, I won't be needing that because I need to go rear sump, which is now currently on the engine. Pretty much just to what we did today, we uh, swapped out the oil pan from front sump to rear sump. Um, so it was a little process. Uh, the oil pan, the windage tray, the pickup tube, you know, all that shit. All the good stuff. Um, so that's pretty much done. Just need to get a dipstick. I hope you liked the video. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment with any suggestions. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these types of videos. I definitely enjoyed making it, and I'm going to be putting more effort into the channel. Um, and also I'm going to be doing product review videos, like I said, with the newer style products. And I'm also going to be doing a lot more videos with the Alexis's. So uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at One Wicked Supra. And make sure to like, comment with any suggestions, and also subscribe. Because i got a lot more content coming you guys' way. Thanks for watching.